So tell me about you first. Let's get that in it. Well, um, South London, born and raised. Yeah. Um, been in physical fitness exercise for over 10 years. All my life, really. Yeah. Um, personal trainer by trade. Um, work with the community to uplift people. Uh, mental health. Work with uh, college, which which is like more targeted at AS, kids with ASD, autism, um, behaviour issues and stuff like that. Yeah. So I do a lot of stuff with them, boxing, instructing, uh, fitness, strength conditioning, training. And yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my passion, man. Seeing people better themselves mentally, physically across the board okay cool and and so like you know obviously the style of work that I'm doing and 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 I've put together a series of work with certain clients um and who've been willing to be part of this project so it's like community like what you do mm. um what what are your thoughts on the series of work from what we discussed what do you think about um, it I think it's brilliant I think it's inspiring um like very like influential on others people that you know they never have to limit themselves that they can be better through through whatever it is they're passionate about and i think the the, the message is put across very well through the images thanks if you had to describe the message what do you what do you take from the message what do you see when you see the photographs mm. when I, like i showed you them all sat together and where you will sit amongst it like what did, what do you feel about them what does um, it read to you Empowerment. Um, uh, thinking of one more word. Uh, empowerment and encouragement. I'd say that those are the ones I can think of, and I think it's is very encouraging and, and empowering. So yeah, that's been for for me. Like looking at the images themselves, like and, and literally you can see there's a there's a message in each image. I mean, I'm quite a deep thinker, so I think. When I look at something, I don't just look at a painting or a picture of somebody's work. Like you can see, the me there's a message behind it, and then even reading on the stories that you've kind of developed in your script, should I call it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can see that there's 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 a message behind what you're trying to achieve. If it's, if we were talking about the wider community and our community in South London, yeah. what do you think the overall impact is? Like, say. Yeah, what what is the impact of, of of seeing all these different types of people of all different races and um, sort of economic backgrounds? What is the impact for our youths and and people like ourselves? What what is the impact? Um, the impact the message to me is that you know that yeah, you may be up against things and things may be hard and you know the struggle is the struggle, but I think that there's a portion of of the communities who are still getting on with things and there's a portion of people that aren't really getting on with things. You know, there's a portion of people that are just stagnant. Yeah. And and they're just sitting what they're in. They're just they're just here and there's they're not going anywhere. And it's because they haven't they're not allowing anything past what they're in. Yeah. And I think when you see past what you could be is when there's hope. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of our young people lack and have that sort of thing where they, 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 they don't believe that there is possible for them to be anywhere else. And then when they've got parents at home or things at home that are not influencing them in the right way to be better. Yeah. And that's why when I come into contact with the people, I, come, I try to be a you know, role model, iconic kind of like, yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm from where you're from. Look at me, I'm... I'm happy as Larry, like, you know, not everyone in my family was, you know, in good people, yeah. you know, like uncles and stuff, bad criminals, prison here. But mm. you find a way, man, find a way to be influenced by the right things and the right people um, in your community. Yeah, to do that. and they have to see it, right? They have to see it being done. That's right. And, and then they can follow suit, I guess, right? 100%, 100%. And that, that's, the visualisation is so important as well, like. Uh, my name is Shanal Dyer, I'm from London and I fight out of the Knowledge Academy and Team Underground. 
I've been doing MMA Muay Thai for about eight years now and I have 27 titles including five world titles, multiple British, English, Super League and German titles. What it's like at your gym? Uh, for my MMA gym at Team Underground, it's a really lively, unique gym. We're more of a family gym. We do a lot of stuff together in and outside the gym. We're really like a really good um, community. Our training is really hard. Like people come out with like black eye, with like bloody noses <laughs> and stuff like that. But they always come out like smiling and stuff. And it's really hard. It's really like proper work. Um, but yeah, we love it. Tell, um, was it. tell me about the children. How what you're like to the children. Um, how they see you when you're training at the gym. What do they think of you? Because you've got so many titles. Yeah, I don't really like to say I have like, a lot of titles, but they can obviously see it on the internet and stuff. So I think they kind of look up to me as well, especially the girl fighters there, because um, they have like, a couple of titles as well, and they're a really, really good fighter. So I think they see me as like some, like I'm coming from the exact same place as them, like from London, the same situation. So they, if I can do it, they can do it. So they probably see me as a role model and inspiration. That's I think it's really important to have something like this in the community. Um, somewhere to get away to, somewhere to escape from because a lot of people they don't have um, really amazing situations going on in, in their lives or their homes so I think we, they really need a place like this so they can come train, escape, chill and um, stuff like that. Even when I have like, down days or I'm feeling upset, I go to the gym, I train, like, be around with people I, I love and um, I really, it really uplifts me so we really need a lot of places. Um, like this around London so it can save like, a lot of children. Um, what was it different in terms of like a commercial photo shoot like when you're doing your magazine work? What's the difference with a um, shoot like this? The difference is there's so much more passion behind it. There's a vision, there's a there's driving forces behind it. It's more than just like showcasing a product. It's about showcasing the people and making sure that you've got that shot that really sends the message that you're trying to send out. So for me, it was like there's so much love and care behind it that it comes out in the photo, I think, oh. in the end. How is this connected with you just by doing a shoot like this? What is I the think relevance? It's just sending the good message out there that needs to be sent out there, and also it's having that representation that, of a, for want of a better word, like range of kind of diversity, range of different people from different backgrounds, different sex, religion, age, all that stuff is is important, and it's important that people from from our community are coming forward and showing themselves in a positive light. And I feel like this project is very much about that, showing people in a positive light and bringing us together through our strengths. Um, and, you know, whether that's, you know, who we are, our religion, our culture, you know, what drives us forward, this project, everything about it is positive and showing people in a positive light. And I think that's exactly what needs to be done right now. That's amazing. And just, and just on a little final note, in terms of what you're doing, especially with the young girls, I, I saw that on your mm. Instagram, which really like made me feel yeah. an, a set of emotions. Where is your journey taking you now, and where do you see yourself going forwards? Um, well, I think, like you said, like it's youth development is something that I'm invested in. Um, I'm, we, you know, what I'm trying to be is a person that I didn't have when I was going through my own challenges, um, uh, challenges that I faced professionally, but also personally. Um, having that visual representation of somebody that looks like you in a space that you don't typically see people like that I think is really really powerful so you know I want to help encourage young girls to you know do what they want to do and perhaps get into a martial art that they probably you know wouldn't otherwise put themselves in or people wouldn't put themselves in that um, in that sort of bracket so I want to encourage young women to to find their something that they love um, and just pursue it, you know, not give up because society tells you that you don't belong in that certain place. I want, you know, women to go forth in all their dreams and all their aspirations and not be held back by, you know, their sex, their, their, their religion, their, their faith and all of that stuff. So. Right, we're just going, we're just going to do this for this purpose. So like, we'll go back into that thought process. Put your hands together again, just close to your chest. And then look away, close your eyes. And we are, I'll count you into three and then you'll open your eyes. So three, two, one, and then open and look straight at the camera. And awesome, the card is full. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my God. 
I get quite nervous sometimes, like in front of cameras and stuff. So I was just like, mm. yeah, I hope that like I'm not super tense because it will show. Yeah. Um, but I just feel really relaxed. So. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> What I've noticed is that there are some people who have abilities like you have. I mean, you one of the rare I've seen that much, but you can so much read into a person, so bonding to what the person is actually passing through, then you can actually catch and you develop probably the ability of seeing it before. So in every of the pictures that you have, you actually can pass a... a, a, a an expression you can express or you can pass so much the what the person is actually having that a person like me who sees people a lot of the time as well would catch and i think it's just that you make pictures speak so basically when we look at your pictures we can imagine or we can create a scenario of what happened or we can create a scenario of what happened and understanding how you actually get to to that and that's that's a big thing for me for a photographer if, if you don't have that it right. doesn't matter how the person looks like but mm. the society we live in nowadays brings you a certain standard mm. but you going against the standard so i actually started boxing because i was recovering from depression and um i had just started to come off medication and i just needed some something to take my mind off this like emotional roller coaster that I started to be on and um, there's a boxing club right down the street from me like three minute walk away and I've always walked past it already like on the way to the DLR and um, yeah one day I was just like all right I have to I just have to start boxing because I was still at the point where I wasn't really recovered yet but I I was starting to feel better and I really wanted to come off the medication because I, I started getting the feeling of maybe you should just stay on the medication like for the rest of your life so and that scared me because I was like no I don't want to be numb for the rest of my life I want to be able to feel emotions and stuff and um, yeah to to help me with these thoughts and to help me against the you know like um, withdrawal symptoms um, I just went boxing every day you're not originally from this country so was it as you came into England or yes it was as I came into England so it was also a way of finding friends in a way sad sad story uh, it's not sad <laughs> it's, not, it's sad. not sad but um, as an adult it's harder to make friends than it is as a kid so when I found the gym it was nice to have people that did the same thing that I did and you would see each other like every day or every other day like around 6 30 and be like hey cool let's do burpees <laughs> and that's that so you bonded on burpees we bonded over burpees <laughs> and then what are the other people like are they similar to you no and like... everybody's quite different um you have you know people that are doctors you have police officers you have like people from all walks of life and then we just hit pads do burpees hit pads do some more burpees usually <laughs> You, time, you tend to stick to the people that are similar to you. This kind of makes you branch out and bond with people that are quite different sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it is. I agree with that because like nobody is the same. You no couldn't one. be more Even far children, apart. Even you know, you can like, there's the children's class there and then they come and they talk to you and hey, you have a 13 year old friend. Yeah, yeah. Why not? And you've got something in common though, but and it does. We ha and you have something in common with the 13 year old. Yeah, suffering. It's a good word, suffering, right? Because um, it's like they're putting themselves through this torment. Yes, because you're doing it to yourself. Nobody's forcing you to do it. No. So you're making yourself suffer. And you have people encouraging you to, to suffer, suffer some more. <laughs> so you all suffer together. You all suffer together. <laughs> and it's great because it's better than suffering alone. 
I absolutely agree with that. So it's like a, a togetherness suffering camp yeah. so that you can all, yeah, yeah. not be alone. Exactly. But if that's the that's therapy. Uh, that is it. That is... But at the end, like, it's, it's hard, you know? You have to train hard. You go through injuries, you're in fight camp. You know, you have to wake up, go for runs. You have to do... I don't know you and nobody's fighting and just just fighting everybody works so you have to yeah. go to work you're tired you have to go training and then you do the same thing so when you see each other you're like oh yeah you're here too and it kind of lifts your spirit a bit more go on, Chris I'm going to show the card now. 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 Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we all cut this way, please? Why come to the card? Ha <laughs> 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 